welcome back everybody to the world of Wraithmire. Thanks, John. You're welcome. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so do all of our visually impaired listeners. Are uh, our <laughs> listeners visually impaired? Yeah. <laughs> Is that the demographic that listens to podcasts? This makes That's so much it. more sense. <laughs> you're, it's actually a law in Canada That's that it. you can't listen unless you're blind. Well, or visually impaired. Visually impaired. Yeah, I have sorry. glasses. So. Yeah. Plus, is that is that politically correct to call someone blind, or is that a little rude? Should you I call them visually impaired? Is that kind of like calling someone? Anyway, I'm not going to get into anything else. But were you just about to compare the word blind to the N word? <laughs> 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 Why would I go there? I'm just, I'm just extrapolating from thinking, where you um, started. I was going. <laughs> I was honestly going handicapped to disabled or vice versa. Okay, okay, all right. Okay. I was not going anywhere near that word. I don't. I just don't know. It just seemed like <laughs> okay. Pick a direction. Hey, go, do you know right? what though? <laughs> this is episode six. And do you know what happened in episode five? We just started. Nothing's even happened yet. <laughs> <laughs> no. So many things happened in episode five. Let me tell I you all about them. Dinner dates. Ready? So, uh, well, yeah. uh, uh, let me do like a brief, overarching, <coughs> quick, quick breakdown. Check Can this out. Can I the name of episode six? Dinner what? dates. Dinner dates? Yeah. No, that was last episode. Yeah, that's. This episode is episode six. This- I thought this was seven. No, this is episode six. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, a couple people meet at an orc attack. They fight some orcs. Then they uh, decide to travel over to Ironcrest, passing through Freyburn. On the way, they encounter a cougar. They also run across a stone. Underneath the stone is a cave. In the cave, they find some rings. Also, a lady named Aurora, and was then... Was <laughs> Also, you didn't mention the in horde the of mummies. That was tiny. <laughs> yeah. That was the cringiest hey, moment hey, of this hey, whole thing. This sorry, is the sorry, briefest sorry, of sorry, all sorry, recaps. Sorry, you go, you go. So then we get to the city, <laughs> and uh, we do a little bit of... The city of, of Freyburn, not Iron. Yeah, little, right? yeah sorry. Okay. Oh, the city of Freyburn. racism. City of Freyburn. Yes, super yeah, racist. Super racist yeah, city. Yeah, so racist. This and, uh, and classist, as John... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, classic. Episode five. That's right. Um, in episode five, uh, so it basically begins with Vincent and Lander still talking to the king. Um, they briefly wrap that up, and then they're also invited to dinner. Um, upon exiting that reunion with the king, they find out that they don't know where their companions are. But luckily, they their companions were smart enough to come back and find them, and then they just, they explained that. Yes, the city is indeed racist, and no, you're not invited to dinner with the king. <laughs> so they decided, we just all decided to split up and have the half orcs go um, to do some uh, research and finding out about the caravans to see if they can find one to, to guard and to help um, guard them all the way to Ironcrest. Yeah. They also then decided to flirt a little bit at the bar. Um, Ooh, yeah. They least, decided? Well, they both did. Travis yeah. decided for well, sure. Well, she was getting a little was, flirty as well, trying to buy, and, have some people. I wasn't sure. getting That's flirty. True. People were flirting with me. True. Correct. A little call me, a little call me. You know. And that was, Anyways. I was flirting a lot with uh, Bertha Lockhaven. Yeah, Brand. I mean Bertha. Is that her name? name? Yeah, Who's Bertha. Watua? Watua was, was the half orc that... Uh, was he the guy at the other at the sleeping elf or whatever that place is called? Oh, like the 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 orc that I went to. He was the free? orc at the he was tavern. The bartender, yeah. He was the bartender at the other tavern that you went to that was uh, explaining about the caravan that's going to be leaving in a couple of days or something like that. that was, oh. the ha- was that the happy beggar or the? It was the elf one. The smiling elf. No, that was the smiling the, dragon. Uh, smiling dragon. The happy. <laughs> that was one that we that I met the dwarf and you you were getting looks from people. Huh. I was. No, no. Lone Elf. <laughs> the Lone Elf is the new tavern that you guys went to after hitting on a people at the bar. You went to the new tavern, talked to the talked to Uatu, and then you went and decided we need to go and research about our rings. Oh, so Watu is where we're staying, where Watu you guys were heading to yeah. right before you guys got attacked. Correct. We, so then you got and, tickled more likely. Okay, more likely. I'm going to keep talking. So okay. then yeah. you guys decided to go to the library. You did some important <coughs> research. You guys found out that um, that uh, Randall Newton was indeed a great wizard, and there are lots of books about him. Inside, you found stuff about the rings, and you found out that he used them to um, potentially, or I don't know actually if it was for sure said in there or not, but that he was able to communicate with the gods and in a way request things from the gods. Um, he also found out that he was 
basically trying to become a god through his acquiring of magical items and power. Um, you also found out that, uh, and Penelope found out that the runes that were inside the box basically could be transcribed onto other things, as far as we know. And that it, on, upon a completion of rune, potentially could lead to that having that rune work. And so um, that was basically what they learned. Then they went back to their to the tavern. Meanwhile, Lander and Vincent went and had the dinner with the kids, <coughs> uh, where uh, Lander was attempting to steal a ring from uh, a, a, a yeah. drunk gentleman, <laughs> and <laughs> like kind that. of tried, got the ring on for a while, <laughs> but then at the end of the dinner, he asked for it and got it back. Um, and then Vincent also had a, quite a few questions with the king about the stone that they encountered earlier, and... Didn't really uncover anything new, really. Just found out that the king knows about the stones, but wasn't really willing to talk about them, saying that there was some, some information that was better kept, he said. so. Anyways, so then uh, Lander and Vincent decided to go back to meet with um, Travick and Penelope at the inn, and on the way um, had to fight off some, some half-orcs that were attempting to loot our sweet, sweet bods. So, anyways... <laughs> So we eventually chased them off, and then uh, went, and now and we're meeting up. We that ended was, right then, that was but totally yeah. It. yeah. Okay. That was, it. That, was that was a good episode. So, I liked it. Anyway, so I, the one who's talking is Jonathan, and I play Vincent. And I am Kendall, and I'm playing Lander. I am Reese, and I'm going to be, be playing Travic Ramis and coughing a little bit today. I apologize. <laughs> and I'm Jacqueline, and I'm Penelope. I'm Brandon. I play everybody else and roll a lot of dice at everybody. At everybody. Yeah. <laughs> he actually throws them. It's very <laughs> painful. <laughs> Five. Yeah. Okay. Out of six. Okay. So do we make it back? Uh, we're going over to uh, <laughs> the two half works who are at the Lone Elf currently, correct? Okay. Mm-hmm. The Lone yes. Elf. Um, and you guys had finished drinking and gone up to your rooms? Question mark or I don't even I remember, remember how that I, ended. I if I'm being know. totally honest. I, no, Probably. I think I think we ended at the library. Oh yeah, you ended at the library. That's right. And then like we just kind of you drank first, then library. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, we drank with uh, at the other tavern. Yeah, that, we haven't drank since the smiling yeah, dragon. Yeah, on the inner side. And then so we're like, I'm just assuming like went to our rooms. Pretty good, pretty good. The hey. happy beggar is the inn that the king told me that I could stay at. In the inner city, also. That's yeah. So the happy beggar and the smiling dragon are on the inner city. The smiling dragon is a tavern. The happy beggar is an inn. Yeah. <laughs> and the lone elf is the inn slash tavern that's in the outer city. Right. Okay. That's okay. a lot of names. Don't worry. <laughs> They're all in my brain somewhere, right? You got it. Okay. So um, so Penelope and Travic, you guys leave the library, and you're headed back to the outer city in, like, total darkness. Um, once you uh, exit the walls of the inner city, you um, there's not a lot of, like, street light or torch light. There's the occasional sort of ambient light from homes um, and things like that, but there's not... There's not like public lighting in the outer city, really, right? So, um, but like for you guys, you're as half orcs, you guys have some night vision, right? Mm-hmm. Dark, mm-hmm. Dark, yeah. Vision. Yeah. dark vision. Yeah, dark vision. So, I mean, so you can you make your way okay. It's not like super treacherous to be for you to be like uh, wandering about at night. However, as you're wandering back to the Lone Elf ta- uh, Tavern slash Inn, you um, you see uh, some bloodied and bruised uh, half orcs coming up the street towards you. Mm. Wait, did that happen? I, th- I thought we were already. A- we don't know. We don't know. No, no. Oh, no. So you, oh okay. Um, yeah, no, this is what's happening. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I run up to them. So like, you, so like his dinner and your library research were sort of happening concurrently. Mm-hmm. So the timelines sort of converge at a certain point, but we're gluing that together right now. That's what's happening. Okay. Cool. Like I run up to them and I'm like, "Are you guys okay? Is everything all right?" Um, they're not okay. One of them is bleeding, like, really heavily, like, out his nose and, like, mouth. Um, and his eyes are all, like, bruised up and, like, swollen shut. These are full orcs or half orcs? Mm-hmm. Um, they're half orcs. They're half orcs? They're half orcs, okay. like you guys. Well, okay. Not like you, Travic, so much as, like, Penelope. <coughs> but definitely, like, the half of you that's half orc. Right. Is, like, the half of them that's half orc. So right. that's pretty good. Right. Um, I feel like I'd be generally... I, I think I'd assume it was, like, a human. Well... <laughs> I mean, like, what? like, because of the whole racism thing, I feel like, oh, they're getting beat up by, like, yeah. the guards or something. I yeah. Don't know. I know. You've been very, very kind.
kind to half orcs since yeah. we've been here. So that's legit. So yeah, so you see the the big one sort of like leaning on his buddy, um, and his buddy sort of acting as like a human crutch, helping him up the street. And um, and when you stop and ask if they need help, then the little guy says like, Yeah, do you have do you have any bandages or spare cloth that you can spare? Like I don't know what to mm. do. I'm not a doctor. Uh, I don't have anything, but yeah. do you know anywhere we could go to like get you guys some help? Uh, I don't know. Not, <clears throat> not until tomorrow. There's no. Mm. There's no medical mm. um, availability in the outer city, so we have to wait till morning to go into the inner city. Uh, oh. I don't know what to do. Hmm. He looks really worried. The, the big guy looks a little bit delirious. Who did this to you? Was it the guards? Is it someone? No, we ran into some some humans. And they just, they picked a fight with us for no reason. They, they started the fight with you? <laughs> yeah. <it> was... <laughs> oh. No reason. Did they sort of know where they just started attacking you? <clears throat> yeah. I mean, like, you know humans. Well, right. maybe, maybe we could take them back to our <laughs> place <laughs> and uh, get them fixed up, right? I mean, like... That's the only place I can think of that would help us. <laughs> Probably just needs to lie down. We're, we're kind of just headed home, but I don't know. If you guys don't have anything, hmm. I got some torches, a tinder box. All right, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, at that, he stops um, the little guy, and he's and like he, he, his attention sort of was focused on um, helping his friend. But as he's talking, uh, you see a moment where he looks where he sort of pauses and he stops and you can see visually that he's noticing your horns and tail. So mm -hmm. even though your hood is up and your cloak is on, uh, you're close enough that like, you can see that like, Oh, uh, this guy is something else. Something. Mm -hmm. He doesn't say anything, but you see that look and it's, re it's a recognizable look. You've had it, you've seen it before. You grew up with it. I mean, after a while you didn't get it so much in right. um, drifting, but when <coughs> you left town, you know, it's a look that you're well acquainted with. Um, but yeah, so he, no he notices you, and then like you sort of see him. He doesn't like shy away, but he looks suddenly cautious in a way. If that makes sense. Right. Okay. Um, so it's, it's okay. We'll we'll just I'll just take him home and we'll lie him down. He'll, he'll be all right. Um, it's nice to meet you. You guys have a good night. Hmm. And they, just, they just you start too. going up the going up the road. Weird guys. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, like, what's wrong with me? Like, what's in me all fun? Okay, so you get to the Lone Elf uh, Tavern, and in the entryway, uh, Watua is polishing uh, his glass, you know, as the bartenders are wont to do. <laughs> Every so bartender has, like, their favorite glass. That's yeah. a bad picture. Just have one glass. It's just one, clean. yeah. <laughs> Um, There's like a dishwasher in the back, but he still just uses that one. And um, <laughs> Lander and oh my Travis. Vincent. Vincent. Oh, Vincent. Thank you. Nope, that's See? Travis. <laughs> See, I did. You can do. It's we're all you know. Yeah, uh, Lander and Vincent are sitting at um, at uh, a table. Hmm. They look good. They look fine. Yeah, they look great. Oh, better than ever. Dang good. So good. Robbie, go up to them. How you guys doing? Hey, where were you guys? Oh, I you guys uh, are going to be here. We well, were we, doing some research. Yeah, we were here oh. earlier, but we went to the library, thought we could do do some help, and you know. Some research on what? On, on, uh, on the rings? Yeah, yeah we on closely. Mm -hmm. I on. get really <laughs> close to you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> on you know. And whisper oh. into your ear. She smells a little weird, so I back up. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's hot. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> also, what? <laughs> Secret stuff. You know, the maybe. Rings. Oh, you know, that's secret rat. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> who's around us? <laughs> <laughs> like, is there anyone even within earshot that we um, need to be whispering? If you, yeah, if you spoke loudly, like, oh, okay. then yeah, people could hear you. There's still a few patrons in the tavern. It's not super, super gotcha. late yet. And, and Did we get our rooms when we got there? Like, uh, Landry, we got right? ours. Oh, okay. We skipped past that. Yeah, okay, so we would have already got yeah, ours yeah. before they got yeah. there. Okay, okay. You, you why, don't we go up to, why don't we go up to a room where it's more private? We could talk. We could have Yeah. Chat more. How was your dinner? Let's chat upstairs. 
<laughs> but it went well. There's nothing. There's nothing we to say about just, it. We can't just talk along the way as oh. it goes through. We're all completely silent. We can't no, no, no. Room. You're right. Now we can talk. The king's thing is so important. Oh, and then we get there, and I say, "It was like whatever." Like, it was actually, yeah, it was weird. It was a little bit formal, and there was just like you know, nobility chatter, and I don't know, like. The mm, nobility chatter. Yeah, nobility never, chatter. Never experienced that. You would have. I'm a. I'm a, I'm a I'm all a, this racism is rubbing off on me. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about important today. things. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> uh, that. You and then I and then I mentioned that I met a noble today. You met a noble. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Who? Uh, her name was Bertha. Bertha. Hey, yeah. I sat by somebody named Bertha. She kind of oh, really? seemed into him. <laughs> Oh, what? Cool. But at, the, at when? When did you sit next to her? At the table. <laughs> okay. uh, during dinner? Yeah. Oh, that oh. was that dwarf you were sitting beside my yeah. That little oh. fetcher. <laughs> <laughs> she, Wait, why? She, she told me she wasn't going to. I asked her if she was going to the dinner. <laughs> oh. And she said no. Huh. Well, but that was, that was before we made the connection, because she, <laughs> she did tell me to hit her up and when I, if I ever go to... Uh, where is she from? Lock Haven? Correct. Uh, yeah. Lock Haven. Uh, is that what this is? No. That's what I wrote down. Yeah. Oh, then yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's Lock Haven. Um, yeah, it's Lock Haven. You're right there. It's right there, right? Yeah, opposite yeah. side Good of the job. lake. Good yeah. You remember. Yeah. Of course. Anyways, keep on. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, like, that's weird, huh? Well, whatever. Well, maybe she, you know, wasn't planning on it, and then plans to Maybe, 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 maybe. Maybe she was invited after or something. Maybe she's just not that into you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe she, I uh, think they made a movie about that, but that's probably not in this world. Never what mind. is a movie? <laughs> <laughs> What's the movie? It's called She's Just Not That yeah. Into Reese. <laughs> Wait, in the trap. I mean, trap. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, obviously yeah. if um, she met you, it would be a different story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, dwarf woman met you. She dwarf, <laughs> love, love my type. Um, so, <laughs> are we in the room yet? Yep. All right. <laughs> Okay, okay we, we explain everything about the rings and the... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I start drawing some symbols, not complete, but just like showing them these cool symbols. And then like, if you put them together, apparently stuff happens. Ooh. Have you tried it? No, we haven't Still, tried it yet. That's cool. We should... So, okay, so what did they mean? Like, because there are, there are at least two different types of... And I open the box. There's at least two different symbols in this box. Well, I know one of them stops things from... Burning? Burning. Okay. So. Do you know which one is that? Show it to I, you. Based on my research, <laughs> I think I should. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it looks like, though. Yeah, you I don't know, know what it looks like. You oh, research I'm just it, pretending. You I'm, I'm sorry, I mean, <laughs> I'm just playing. So I draw this little symbol. Well, actually, where should we draw it? Because do you guys want to draw it on your pants and see if they don't burst Put it right on my you? left buttock. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, for the rings. Put it on my hand. No, put, put this on like on a, okay, on like a it, sheet. We should put it on your Tattoo hand. Why my hand? hand? Because you'll be fine if it like. Because you keep trying to. Oh, put it on. fire! No, I'm fire resistant. Wait, so what does the but other one do? I don't want. I don't want to put like a magical symbol on my hand. Let's put it on like a cloth first or something. All right, fine. Like, what if it so, explodes? I don't want my hand to explode. Does anyone have a piece of paper? <laughs> I guess that's right. That's a good idea. Like, yeah, I'm gonna take half damage, <laughs> but it's still gonna here. explode. Wait, do I actually? Let me see. I have a scholar's pack which has a bottle of ink and pen and ten sheets of parchment. All right, so I take one of your pieces. I give you it. Okay. You don't take it. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I take it. <laughs> I, take it I take it now. Um, I'm feeling a little resentful for you because you were right. being so oh. rude about us not knowing what uh, the, the commoners should stay away. <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was all. Anyway, you don't tell this to me, though. It's the so spirit of the sea. Yeah, that's why I try and take the pen and paper yeah. from you. I'm like, though. oh, Penelope's a little cold today. <laughs> right. <laughs> So then I start drawing some symbols that I saw in the book, <coughs> and there's little swirls and little other things, and then I put them together, and then... Okay, which <laughs> symbols are you drawing? I'm trying to draw the one that... Uh, the the fire flame one. resist thing. Well, the flame resist thing, we won't know if it works, so we have to oh, do we'll the fire know. one. We can try lighting it. We put the ring on it, the parchment. The ring, or we can just lay or it. Or lay it. We have a tinder box. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Try Ooh, it. Ooh, good do call. It, it. Okay, so we draw the, non, the non-flammable 
Okay, this Sign. is the, Far the don't burn me once. <laughs> I was like, which, the non which to be clear is like it's a series of symbols even for that. Yeah, like, they all many? have to be connected, right? Um, I don't know the answer to that question because I haven't like. Okay, okay. I haven't like made all the symbols and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> don't no, speak infernal. No, in no real fewer life. than three. <laughs> no more than a million. So. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, so you so you write out those symbols as you saw them in the book. And then I pick Do up the you, paper. Here's my question: Did you make notes or did you write down? Uh, as you were studying anything from the books? Um, or are you doing this from memory? Well, no, you no, wanted we me to have rip the symbol in the box. Like, it's already there. We're just transcribing yeah, oh, yeah, it oh, I see. onto yeah, yeah, paper. Yeah, yeah. You're just copying the symbol. Yeah. What you should do is you just grab a crayon and. Okay. Yeah, a yeah. crayon. <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, do it. Do, 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 do. Well, like, okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Here's the first thing that you notice the symbol, um, now that you've seen the book and that you're looking again in the box, the symbol in the box has um, some minor, minor differences to what you saw in the book. Um, it's, it's sort of akin to, like, you know, like, serif fonts versus sans serif fonts, where it has, like, the little tildes, tildes mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah, tildes. Tildes? That's Spanish. That, that, that's not what it is. Okay. <laughs> that's the little symbols, but... Uh -huh. Anyways, um, it's, it's, like, it's similar to that. So, um, if you remember in the books, the symbols weren't complete. There was, like, segments mm -hmm. of them that were, like, dotted lines. It would seem that, in addition to them not being complete in that sense, that even for the for the purpose of um, distributing that text, they had om either omitted the the final little pieces of the markings, oh. or these symbols are in somehow different than those symbols. It seems uh. more likely to be the first than the second. Mm -hmm. Well, they're incomplete because they didn't want the symbol to be active, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. So, but not only the, not only if but you then, finish the dotted lines, there's also yeah, added but then the there's, markings. Yeah, it's like other stuff was also missing. What about right. in the box? Wasn't in the books. So in the in the box, it, it's pres it's easy to presume that those symbols are complete because they seem to be functional, mm -hmm. right? Right. So, so we should copy the ones from the box. Yeah. Copy yeah. So we've, 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 we've copied them. Okay, we've copied and them. now exactly I'm gonna like. go. There's a fireplace in our room. Yeah, he's right here. His name's Lander. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> he gets his. I light my hand. And I just throw the paper on top of his fire. It does not burn. What? what? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me? Okay, okay. We need to do more tests. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice okay, 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 okay. I wrap yeah. around my arm. I take. And I say, flame blast what? my arm. Okay, you're, the rest of your arm is going to burn. <laughs> yeah, but I'm flame. I'm fl I can t take half damage. I want to write it really. Wait, you want to wrap the piece <laughs> of paper around your hand? I just, just want to see it. Like, wait, you want me to throw my flame at your hand? <laughs> is that what you're saying? Like, like not hard. Like just like, like just like, <laughs> like, like just make like a little, damage or something. Just make a little baby fireball. <laughs> I just want to see if it's like flame, like make it proof. two damage. To <laughs> like, like a, like a one one d one. Just like boom. <laughs> or I don't know. Like, like what can you do? Here, Dude, can we know what's gonna happen. The like, paper is resistant. Yeah, no, we wanna. We I wanna, know, but what if it like resists? Can I like, carve it into your? <laughs> I want that all over my body. <laughs> hey, hey I, okay, I'm gonna write it really tiny. <laughs> On another, on like, on another piece of paper, like really small in the corner, okay. and then light that one. Okay. And what happens to the paper? Who's lighting it? I'll do the same priest one. Doesn't seem to burn. Okay, I take out uh, a torch and then I press digitate it to light, and then I put the paper over top of that, like a burnt torch. Help me understand press digitation. So this you can is create real a fire. Yeah, you can create a spark to ignite something. Okay, is with is with that. That's very cool. Yeah. So now this is non magical flame, though. Yeah, non magical flame. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn. It doesn't burn. Oh. And it's really tiny, like. It's quite small. You've written, right? I then. Are you an ink or? Write pencil? it on every. <laughs> uh, ink. <laughs> ink. Okay. Wait. Dude. Okay, I write it on my hand. Wait, is your fire magical? The same thing. And then I and then I light my hand. On okay, the fire. what are you writing on your hand with? With my ink. Quill. Ink quill. Yeah. Okay. So like on the back, I'll put it like on the back of my hand. Okay. Very cool. And then I light my hand. Okay. When you take the <laughs> fire, you've got the torch, correct? Yeah. When you take the torch and pass it underneath your hand, you can feel warmth, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> this is the coolest thing okay. of my whole life. And you, and if you examine, when you examine your hand, you can see the hairs on the back of your hand haven't singed off at all. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do it to your my, foot. Like I check my out. other hand. Yeah. Like. Because like, what if it applies your whole? Does my other hand hurt? With it, the heat? it it feels stronger. It feels like more heat. 
Can we put the ring but it still on your finger burn. now? It's not burning. Oh my goodness. No. Can we put the ring on your finger? Put them on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> on me. Okay. Okay, which one do you want first? We've got... Well, do we know... I'm going to do the red one first. Because that's the one... Because that's the one we know is probably the one well, that burns. Or they Travic, both burn, right? Tra- yeah, because yeah, it, Tra- Tra- it burnt me too. The other okay, one. the black one first. Yeah, you weren't here, but Travic got a little <laughs> ring happy. Travic, you tried it again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I did. Oh. See, and look. took a lot of damage. <laughs> <laughs> and continued to take it. died. Yeah. <laughs> but we stoked. didn't... He's like, no! I want it! Oh, one more time! <laughs> but we didn't realize that I was actually like he was actually taking half damage yeah. so it was fire oh, yeah that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> and so yeah so we had to do a little bit of backtracking but... right. okay yeah I'll try him out see okay. what happens uh, okay so tell me okay. I gingerly place the finger on the which, ring on my which finger. one the red one the red Wait, one because there's a black one and a red one right there's a black one and a red one I'll put the I'll put the Let's see the black one actually. Let me do the black one first. Can you give me a decent one? Come on. Natural 20. Bam! <laughs> it's on your hand. Yes! See, this is oh. what happened last time. Is what? You rolled really if, well and then the ring worked okay. on you. That's true. And okay. then, well, what let if me you try the other one first on my other hand. Then. First. Second. <laughs> it's too late. First yeah, is over. Second. I meant second. Yeah. So black one on your right hand? Or yeah. red, red one on his. Well, I want to put left. I want to put the red one on the one with the thing. I meant to do it on this one. And yeah, I thought you wrote it on both hands already. You no. burned No, I hands. put it on one, and then I um, tested my other hand, and my other hand was like still, it still worked, but, but a little it, less. Yeah. yeah. Did you research which hand he had the each ring on? Oh, that's a good question. You were doing the research on uh, <coughs> Randall. It didn't come up in no. the rolls that you made, no. No, just did. Um, okay, That's give me a, a roll question. for the second ring. Oh boy, what? No, I didn't want this. Okay, nine. Okay. You don't take that damage. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but can you feel the warmth? Can you feel the warmth? Like, like for, yeah, for a second you feel like a pulse of warmth from from the ring that you just put on. Okay. Just, just for a second and then it dissipates. Yeah, no, huh. no, both rings are on your hands. Does he start okay. communicating with God or anything? <laughs> uh, I feel like there's probably more to this than that. Oh, for sure. It feels Does like anything happen though when I place them on? <laughs> no, it feels like your 20th birthday. <coughs> so like, it feels like something should be different, but it, but everything's exactly the same. <laughs> 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 That's what it feels like. Was that your 20th birthday or mine? Because I had a great time. On my oh no, like well, my I'm birthday just kidding. was great. I know. Like the feeling of like being yeah. 20 doesn't change anything. Yeah, then I get you. Yeah. So, but they're both um, on your okay. Well, okay. These look cool, but I don't feel any different, guys. I think you, if you're gonna wear them all the time, you should wear gloves or something. Why? Because like, what if people notice them? Like the king. What if the king sees you? Like, what? That's a good point, actually. Like, what if he knows about them. Well, yeah. I guess you've been because in your studies you found that they were both like well descript- described. Like, yeah, they were described. I think there's pictures, right? There was uh, s- no. No, there was no pictures. pictures. There was not even a sketch. I don't think. There but a, there no. for sure was rings, and you mentioned the rock that you didn't. Think, I didn't mention oh, the like rock. These have That's to be the ones because right. um, matches. So I would like to pick up the piece of paper and then write the flame symbol on it with the same paper that has the one that says no fire. Okay, like the ignite one. Yes. Okay, so here's part of what you'd have to understand about that is um, the way that the symbols are arranged is that it, there's almost like a grammar to it. So like no fire. And then fire, there's like repeated symbols. So like mm-hmm. the, the fire symbol is already on that page mm-hmm. because, but then there's like a negation to that oh. symbol. Does that make sense? So Weird. maybe yeah. I erase okay. the no <coughs> part okay. of the fire Is part. it written in... With your eraser? Ink? Yeah. Or... <laughs> no, no, no. Just, just, well, just we, t- we shaded it in was the thing off of the box is what we had in decided the paper? to do. Did we? Yeah. Oh. I thought we just wrote it on with a pen. I thought you, you well, you wrote it on with a pen oh, after man. we tried it with oh, okay. the flame. Okay, well, we can use the one that you used. Anyway, sure, okay. we can yeah, I, scribble I just it out know or something. You're scratching it out or whatever. Okay, because the second Scratch you, the the moment that you take, um, that you augment that mark by whether it's scratching it away or erasing it or whatever it is you're doing, the moment that happens, the paper bursts into flames. <laughs> 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 Oh my goodness. Oh boy. Okay. Hey, cool. I'm <laughs> terrified of my hand. <laughs> and you should be. For more than for more reasons than I think you might be considering at the moment. 
Um, but keeping in mind, like, the what nature done? of the world that we're in. Okay. Um, um, knowing what you know now, here's what you've just discovered, is that certain symbols, if copied, are as good as knowing spells. Yes. Right? Yes. That's terrifying. Okay. It's terrifying because if you leave a copy of this symbol somewhere, other people could have it. But how come no one this is has a, found them out? They're in the public a, library. Oh, but there's little incomplete. symbols. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So... So what you what you know for sure is that uh, this is like this is a great power, great responsibility moment for you. Um, and I don't want to like put words in your mouths or thoughts in your head too much, but I just want you to be aware of the fact that like you would be aware <coughs> that this is like this is accidentally stumbling into like plans for a nuclear bomb level of like wow because um, because if the right or wrong people had. Yeah. access to the information that you just stumbled upon yeah um then it could be used for great harm or great good right i, I got a, i got a question mm. should we write this symbol on our chest everyone so we're fire extra no fire no no, no. no. I, sh- I shouldn't have written it on my hand because what right. if that one person might just eat first in the place yeah if yeah, anything right. happens to this ink i'm like blowing it <laughs> trying to keep it dry <laughs> well, no, even a burst into flames wouldn't Everything that happened to her. As soon as she scratched the so, paper, well, no, so because you, you had put it on fire, though, right? Here, here's what she. So, if there was a symbol for fire, let's for right now. I'm just going to use the letter F, right? Okay. And there was like a, a negation to that, so F minus. Okay. <laughs> so she's your family, right? That's very literal. She scratched out the negation. Oh. First. So, the, so whatever the symbol is, so then just fire. The fire was still mm-hmm. there. Gotcha. And that means burst into flames. And that's. I, well, I mean, like, fire. It, means it just means what, fire. whatever symbols were left after the knot. You essentially oh, man. Oh. More so, so, so this that. With this so, much. so F minus is what he has written on his hand. Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Or the equivalent of that, because it's okay. not actually an F minus. So if if minus gets somehow erased. <laughs> yeah. Whereas if you were to smudge yeah. out the other one first, like the F. Yeah. <coughs> who's who's got highest arcana here? What do we got? I do probably. I have minus one. Okay, plus, so you don't know any of this, arcana? right? Your character doesn't. So, it's you, right? right? But like anyone who has training in arcana would be able to glue all those pieces together really easily. Like everything that I just said yeah, about how it, how it works mm. and what makes sense. Plus four right here. Yeah, it's a, it's a logical structure. It's it's similar to grammar, and um, Okay, yeah, well, as you eliminate or omit certain parts of that grammar, then it changes the sentence structure of the okay. instructions, right? Yeah, you're, yeah, you're yeah. channeling magical power. You're using symbols to um, indicate how to channel that. Power. Well, I know what I'm doing for the rest of the night. I'm playing around with this stuff and researching more and studying. That's more, pretty cool, for sure. Yeah, but definitely, um, I think we should all do that. You could try and write it on your chest if you'd like. I'm 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 willing to watch. (laughs) Well, if you, like, engrave it... I think it's dangerous is what I think, though. Like, I'm, like, scared... Like, even knowing what you just said, Brandon, Mm -hmm. I, I think Vincent is still afraid to, like, smudge it off. Can you, can you, can you tell us, like, the whole smudging sentence thing? Do you you tell us that? Because apparently you don't understand it. Yeah, I know. It's okay. basically. Like, so, like, when he explains that, can I grab, like, something else and write just the fire symbol on it? Yeah, you can try. Okay, so I just grab... Um, try another piece of paper, though. Yeah, just another piece of paper, yeah. and I just draw the F on it. Well, okay. the actual F. I want you to give me a roll. No. Oh, on a 20, and then uh, and then you're rolling a con. That's what you're doing. Oh, gosh. <laughs> to see if you can do this actually, oh, okay. essentially. That's a uh, 16. Okay. Yeah, it, it ignites. Cool. What if I do it? What if we do it to like a weapon, <laughs> and like make it like 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 something that like burst ignite. into flames, well, yeah, so we can should, make like. We should also try and see what else like we a, can do like with dagger, these symbols. Like, but it'll pro- let's try it on it. Well, how are you gonna trans? Like, how are you gonna scribe it into a, a metal? We can just scratch ink, ink on top of the metal. Yeah, it'd be difficult, but we could try it. But like, maybe like on the hilt somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But like, we should do it probably on the tip because if we do it like the handle, like we don't want the whole thing to light up in flames. We have to, we gotta play around a lot to figure all this stuff out. <laughs> well, if I already fire resistant, who cares, man? Just stab with a flaming dagger all the time. Should, should we do it right now? Yeah, try it. Okay. Uh, anyone have like a spare dagger? How are you dagger? doing it on the? Because di- ink doesn't really work very well on metal. That's the it's problem. Well, so we can it's scratch really it. Hard to like. Like metal. Yeah. Like, okay. We can scratch scratch metal. it in. But then it's gonna be like. You have to try real hard. Permanent. Yeah, it's gonna be. Like, hard. I don't have tools for that. What are you What are you using to scratch it in with? 
I don't know, like a, uh, another piece of. You could use a dagger. Yeah, use another dagger. What dagger do you want to use? I don't. I don't, want to I don't the tip of my quill. I don't really want. To, I don't really want to use my plus two dagger. No, no, no. I have a, I have a crappy one that I took really? from that guy that tried to bug me. Okay, I'll you. I'll take Kendall's dagger. Use my dagger and engrave. The there was a guy who tried to mug it. you on, First episode. on, the on, on his on his oh. little thing. Um, but like it's gonna be it's gonna be like pretty like small on the tip. <coughs> and you want me to try and write it in then? So because you you have the fire resistance. What? No, because I. Yes. But you're better. No, yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. I and also because you're better. No, <laughs> just like I have a higher human. <laughs> you're better. Sorry, master. <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay, so I'll attempt to take a dagger. Wait, which dagger? You have an extra He's one? He's writing on the crabby dagger with the plus two With, with, with the, plus the nice two. dagger? Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to write on the plus two dagger. Okay, so same with deal. Arcana kind of check, basically. Mm-hmm. Okay, 15 plus 4, 19. Okay. The uh, dagger that you've inscribed, that you've uh, yeah. engraved, is uh, immediately becomes warm. Oh. It doesn't burst into flames. It's not combustible. Um, even the leather of the hilt doesn't burst into flames, but it's but the metal is warm. Hmm. Hmm. And as as he leaves it there, it's still it's not growing. Nope, it's not getting hmm. more warm. Like like a comfortable warm or like a that's like you can hot. hold you can hold it. Oh, you can hold it. Yeah. Like so even weird. I can hold it's it. It's noticeably warm. Okay, but he doesn't. Does he even notice the warmth because his hands? Well, no, he said it's warm. noticeably warm. He said that when I like did oh. the spell on me. Well, maybe because it was like sun hot. It just doesn't burn anything. Like, right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you can hold it as well. I can, and it's <coughs> it's nice and like. There you go. Now you steamy. have. Uh, warm, uh, <laughs> it's like, uh, warm, it's like you warm. know those pocket warmers in the winter time. <laughs> yeah. Off the thing. It's like less, slightly less warm than this. It's less warm. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it's because well, those get pretty hot, right? Those do get hot. Actually, like, it's not like hot. Like you can hold it. Oh man, this is crazy. All right. Mm. All right. Well, it didn't. Well, well, now you have a dagger plus warm. <laughs> it's actually Kendall's dagger. Oh, okay. Kendall's if you're ever cold at night, yeah. you just, cut with with it, yeah. just don't wipe it off wrong. <laughs> uh, I guess it doesn't matter at this point. Or if you like end up in like some winter wonderland, you can like tuck it in your armpits with like the thing <laughs> your pants. <laughs> just just try to stay warm. Just try to stay warm. <laughs> it's totally normal. If you, if you drop it down your pants, you gotta make sure which pointy end is. You know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, what else do we want to do, guys? This is so know, exciting. Let's, let's write on what other symbols are in the box. Do you know? Oh, yeah. What were the other symbols? Yeah, anything else? <laughs> Remember? <laughs> okay, tomorrow I'm going to that library. Just try writing it and see what happens. <laughs> just, the other cool. one? Yeah. Wait, what other Where's one? that I'm scared. <laughs> what other one? Because in the, in the box there were two different symbols kind of interlaced, right? Didn't, right? didn't we mm-hmm. yeah. already do that? Isn't it that so F we did the minus? Was that what it, all it was in there? No, there's another set of symbols. that. Yeah. Um, so with uh, Penelope's uh, roles at the library, she, so if you remember, we I gave her like a certain number of roles that she could make. Mm-hmm. And then if, depending on how many of them were successful roles, um, a certain amount of uh, information Not is revealed yet. based on right. the number of successes, and so she wasn't able to find the corresponding. Well, for that one, yeah, you, got, you guys should go and figure out what that is. Because I would love like... to go to that library. Yeah. I can't believe how much knowledge you guys gained. I know it's we're, we're pretty. Dumb. I can't believe you how know? little knowledge you gained at your dinner party. <laughs> right? <laughs> Me too. I <laughs> can. She held a lot of information. I didn't share it. All right. So should we go to bed? I think I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Uh, and I take the rings back. I write the symbols on my bed. Of what? No way! No, 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 no! I resist. I resist that. I'm not trying to take <coughs> it back. Already. I'm just gonna throw it out there. You can resist all you want. <laughs> what? She's strong with me. You're <laughs> literally you're forcing me. You very clearly hands. need to play this out. Though. <laughs> okay, I'll give you. I'll keep on the one, the one that, the black one, and I'll, I'll take off the fire one. Okay. Right. And then I put it in the box, and I take the box, and then I go up to my room. <laughs> the black one was the one you succeeded, right? Yeah. yeah. He succeeded both of them. No, I no, didn't succeed. I'm the fire one. Oh. There's a little bit one. The black one, I felt it. A good feel. No, 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 no. no. You the felt back, the absence of any. That's right. Sorry. The, 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 <laughs> the fire the one, thing. the fire one, I felt a fire thing go off. That's why I like, right. didn't want the example. Okay. All right. So, everyone's... Splitting up to their separate rooms, is that the plan? Yep, yep. definitely. Uh, yeah. Cutting up to okay. the box. So to be clear, not all your rooms are adjacent to each other. Oh, okay. So for reasons that <laughs> only remain unex- 
explained in the city, racism is a real thing, and the human section of the te- of the inn is in a different section. It's, 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 it's on a different nice, nice floor yeah, than go, the uh, is it crap here? half orc. Uh, well, you'll never know. I don't know. Just tell them. Wait, so they can come to our room? I like, use magic. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, no, you can go to their room too. It's just, <laughs> just like I, it is important information. Oh yeah, I was gonna bring that up. That's actually, all. I'll just bring that up. What? So Sorry. the humans, um, Kendall's room place. and oh, um, yeah. um, Vincent's room. Are, did you guys want a shared room or did you want? Um, he obviously wants private. The thing I forgot to bring up is, we might leave. And stay at that other place. That's You're gonna thing. go back outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Did we ever tell him that we fought some people? No. <laughs> we didn't. Oh no. well. So, so we on the way here, <laughs> on the way here, guys, there was uh, these two or half orcs that attempted to attack us. Two. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they were like trying to. They were like, they. I think they were trying to <laughs> mug us, right? Yeah, I think. So really. I think so. I mean, they looked pretty menacing, and then when we tried to run away, they ran after us, and they were yelling at us. Hmm. Did you kill them? No, we didn't kill them. To make them leave? Like no, well, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't believe so. <laughs> we definitely had to use a little bit of uh, force with them to get them to leave, but like they little, left eventually. A little yeah. bit, uh, like, Yeah, a little poo poo <laughs> but they, I don't yeah. think anyone saw us. I think they crapped their pants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's weird, because we saw also two orcs. Like, pretty much crying, running towards us, bleeding everywhere. Yeah, well, well, I don't think we did anything blood, like, that we just drawn blood, but... Blood, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So maybe it wasn't them. You did. But mm. maybe huh. it was... I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Weird night. Weird Very night. weird night. But the other thing, too, is that the king has... Uh, oh, the king? Yeah, the king has given us um, a place to stay for the night, and I think we might rather go there. Uh... The problem is that Are it's a little a... dangerous out. So, so why do you guys just stay here? Uh, the problem is that I, I don't know if it was kind of a bad, you know, bad blood to like ask for a place and then not stay there that night. You know, I don't know. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. I don't know. It's kind of up to you too. Like, do you want to stay yeah. here or do you want to go? I feel like we split up the party enough actually a lot. We <laughs> <I> do. <laughs> I'm okay with either. I don't really. Okay, honestly, for the sake of the party, I think we stay together. And because it's dangerous out. Mm-hmm. And we shouldn't be revealing our true power, you know, every night, yeah, all night. So, okay, fine, we'll sleep in the crappy quarters, I guess. But don't tell anyone You don't know here, they're okay? crappy. And Didn't also, you, you were less. Yeah, so if they were less. Oh, okay, so we go in the quarters. They're the same. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time? Uh, all that dialogue for nothing. Okay. <laughs> All right, we stay there, then. That's fine. We'll get our own, own rooms, though, for sure, yeah. Okay, everyone goes to sleep? Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Tucked sure. in with my little box. It's been a long oh, day. You're, cutt- you're, like, holding the box? Yeah. Okay. Just cuddled up to it. Cuddling the box. Mm-hmm. My new favorite thing. Okay. <laughs> and that's why I didn't want you to keep the ring. And I'm like, before I go to bed, I, I, double, o- I double over the markings to like secure it into my skin for the night. <laughs> I'm like, I'm let it dry and then lay down. We, we come in the morning and there's just ashes in the bed. <laughs> oh, wow. Just a ring sitting on the top. <laughs> I hope Whoops. that doesn't happen. <laughs> Stop giving him ideas. Um, okay, so everyone goes to sleep. That's the, yeah? Yeah. Uh-huh. So, uh, we're not going to do like a full dream sequence because these ones aren't necessarily important. I mean, not that the other ones necessarily were but like, uh, uh, Travic, you go to sleep and you dream of your father and you dream of Drifton and um, you've only been gone a couple of days, but uh, you're, very, <laughs> you're very clearly starting to feel a little bit homesick for your old uh-huh. man and, uh, and your dream is a reflection of that. Um, oh, Watkin. <laughs> Watkin Burrowgroves. <laughs> oh, dad. <laughs> oh, dad. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know um, Penelope, you are dreaming of jewelry. Yeah, like all over the place. <laughs> and it's not even just rings, it's rings and uh, amulets and bracelets and um, like amulets and like armlets and, and toe rings and like just. And I'm just decked yeah, out. Yeah, and you're just like decked out in all this stuff on like this throne of, of like glory and <laughs> like. Um, you, you're, you're more machine now than man. You know? you're, like, in, you're just like covered in jewelry. And at the and at the at the, at the base of this huge vast throne that it just extends down into the, the floor, you see um, 
worshipful masses in praise and um and uh, I'm like this and is awe. how it should be and that's and yeah and that's your dream and uh I'm sure you're gonna wake up feeling so refreshed except for me um Lander you are dreaming of um the rings as well but in a really different way so um where Penelope's dream is one of sort of uh, like opulence and uh, power and majesty, <coughs> yours is is like very austere. So in your dream, the rings. Um, you know, sometimes <coughs> like, you know, sometimes you'll have a dream where it's like, oh, I'm in my house, I'm doing my things, but it's like it's not your house, like that's not. But in your dream, you know that it's your house. Hmm. So you know in the dream that these are the rings that you've found. You're dreaming about those rings specifically. But the way that they appear in your dream is very different. They're very plain, and they're made entirely of wood. One is like a dark, like an ebony wood, and the other one's like a bright, like kind of a reddish maple. Um, and so th there's these two rings, and they're sitting on this pedestal in front of you. And um, uh, you just, you spend, like the dream is sort of just like wandering around, and as you're wandering around, like looking at the rings, like other people sort of come in from the darkness, and are also examining the rings. And nobody's getting close enough to touch them. Everyone's just looking. And your dream is one of just like awe and wonder more than it is uh, whatever Penelope's supposed to be here. Okay. Um, John. <laughs> Me. Yours is different. You are surrounded in wreaths of flame in your dream. <laughs> As though you were walking uh, at, in the basin of, a, of an active volcano. Oh. Um, but it's not just lava, right? There's like active flame, like shooting up everywhere, and it's like it's it's it it's very violent looking, but it's it's also very quiet. You know, like we we picture volcanoes as being very loud, right? And like roaring, mm -hmm. and like that's not what's happening in your dream. In your dream, it's like all those things are happening around you, but it's extremely peaceful. It's more like it, it feels like wind through trees in a forest more than. Uh, the explosions in a volcano. Hmm. It's, it's, it's somehow it feels natural and homey to be there. Hmm. And, uh, and, and it seems strange that it would feel so natural to be there, but uh, like given that it's the least natural environment to be comfortable in. But um, you spend your dream like exploring these, these cavernous volcanoes and like going into these like molten caves and like down through these um, like lava staircases and like, like swimming in it, walking. No, in you're it? like walking on top of it. Oh, you're like completely, cool. um, yeah, like removed from any thing that would feel like it's like you're control. magically protected from the fire. Yeah, um, almost. However, you're startled awake. Oh, what? By um, boots in the hallway. Um, All of us? Nope, just you. Okay, and Lander. <laughs> um. <laughs> You, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, in, in your waking moments before you have time to react, um, and in the dirt, complete darkness, um, the door bursts open. Um, three figures, uh, rush into each of your rooms. These are three uh, separate figures, two oh. different rooms. And, um, in seconds, you have, uh, your head is wrapped in some kind of fabric, and you're being carried out of the tavern. The whole, the whole, the whole ordeal what? Happens, what? happens in less than a minute. I don't get an action. You don't even get an action. Yeah. I mean, I mean you can attempt to struggle. There are three of them. Yeah. No, you can attempt. That's actually true. You can attempt. I can attempt. So it's a physical attempt. Oh you also yeah. yeah. strength check against. The, same. the thing is, Wait, it's a strength check got, against they three. They grabbed him as well. Yes. So it's three, three, to both three of and the three. Humans. There's a strength. Check. You can make a strength check. I can't um, cast anything. You're making it against three other people. Oh, I don't get an act. Like I can't cast something. Oh, yeah, you can cast if you want to cast. Yeah. <laughs> Chill touch? I'm thinking charm person might be a good one right now. So when I go to sleep, I'm allowed to choose new... Well, technically, when I get up, I can choose new spells to prepare for the day. Uh -huh. Would I have the ones from the night before? Yeah. Okay, so I don't get to pick new ones. All right. So I'll just attempt to... Uh, <laughs> the old sleep spell. Just try my hardest <laughs> to see what I can do on them. Okay, what's the save on that? 
It's uh, it's not. Does it's he know? Just I roll and then it's, it it puts him to sleep. The lowest HP person oh, and uses that up, and yeah, then it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their amount goes to the next. Okay, let me look at what that is. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I get an action, I'm ca- I'm using. Oh something. yeah, totally. Yeah. No, totally. If I had charm person, that would have been amazing. Yeah, that would have been so cool. But oh, you don't have it yet. Well, every morning I prepare which spell I'm going to use. <laughs> so these are the ones I know. But I can only have so many, like, kind of memorized for the day. Okay, rock and roll. And then the next day I can, like, memorize new ones, basically. That's how it works. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh that's, well, these are good. Uh, so that's 14 plus 8, 24, uh, 28, um, 29. 29? Yeah. Okay, one, one guy drops, drops. drops to the floor. So now if you want to make the strength check, you're only okay. making against two people. Okay, two. yeah. <laughs> strength is not good, but I'll try do they, do they, are they like a, ooh, five, are they afraid of minus me? one? So four. Okay, you, uh, you're, you're hoisted out of the room. No. You're out. Um, do, they, do they not know that also struggle? Okay. Oh, five two. That's an eye roll. <laughs> minus one. Oh, minus one? <laughs> yeah. the pro- oh, and, and actually, that was against three too. So. And they're pretty far away from us. They're on an entirely separate floor, so we you, can, you don't okay. even get a passive no, perception. We're sleeping like anymore. babes. Yeah. Um, oh. As I'm being... Dr- <laughs> I know I'm kind of like... Anyway, no, I can, yeah, so going. my cantrips, I can kind of still... Ca- have they bound their <coughs> hands and stuff? Um, no, so, you're, so right now you're just being carried out. Um, you can feel that you're going. You're not going out the front door. You're going out um, some kind of side exit or, oh or fire exit or something. <laughs> we should have gone back to the house. Yeah. It's bad. Um, I'm going to cast message and try to communicate with, uh, with Lander. Because like, I'll know where his room is, right? Yeah. And I can absolutely. cast it through walls and he's close enough, right? Yeah. You know where we all are, though. Oh, but yeah, but I'm just saying, like, I'm closer. He's right closer to yeah. me, right? Mm-hmm. So I would, cast, I would say, like, message out to him before I message out to you guys. And I'll just uh, very calmly say, uh, I'm being kidnapped. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Isn't, isn't this odd? Uh, <laughs> French comedy. <company. laughs> yeah. Um, I think like, I more hurriedly say back, hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you say me too, too? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then I'll immediately cast message up to one of them. I don't know if it works when they're sleeping, though. That's the thing. How many times per day can you do this? Can you it's a cantrip, yeah. So, oh, okay. so I can cast them. Yeah. Love it. 120 yeah, feet. Yeah, you can try it. Okay, I'll attempt to reach out to either one. Penelope. Okay. What are you going to say? Uh, help. We're being kidnapped downstairs. We're downstairs, right? Yeah. No, you're upstairs. Oh, we're upstairs? Oh, we're upstairs. Yeah, upstairs. Oh, we're all on the same floor? No, no different. No, you we're two are on the same floor, and then these two they're are on like the another. lower floor. Oh, they're yeah, down. Yeah, oh, okay. we're lower. Okay, yeah. I, I say that to her. Okay. Um... Here's how I want to. I don't know this. how that would work, actually. So wait, let's see, let's read it quickly because it says you point your finger toward a creature within range and whisper a message to the target only the target hears the message and can reply. It says that they can hear it. So like, well, she's you point range. your finger towards a creature within range. Yeah. Okay. So, so but it says that it can go so, through solid objects. So but, the the difficulty here is that you're um, blindfolded. So I'm gonna make you roll oh. an intelligence check. Okay. To see if you okay. can accurately point in the right direction. Okay. And then if you succeed it, then then something right. will happen. But she is asleep, so... Natural 20. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Second one today. Okay. In the middle of your dream, Jackie, you very clearly yes. hear uh, um, Vincent's voice come through into your head as you're sitting atop this throne of uh, magnificent splendor uh, covered in jewelry. Um, you hear a cry for help, and it says... Help us, we're being kidnapped. And I, like, bolt up Kay. with my box. So here's the thing. Uh, <laughs> just because you heard it doesn't mean you wake up. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I don't know how much Penelope tra- practices lucid dreaming or whatever else. <laughs> oh, so she's still in her dream but and she hears it? She's, yeah, you're in your I think she's proficient. Cool. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you are. <laughs> I mean, the, ro- the role is what saved you here. It would have just been, I like, know. kind of a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay, but, uh, okay. But because because the role is what it was, like you it. know, let's respect the twenty and give you a chance I to it. to force yourself awake. Okay. okay? That, that, like you were very consciously hearing that message, and <laughs> the role here is to see if you have the presence of mind to, to really, like, yeah, yeah to yeah, like yeah. activate out of your sleep. Basically. Yeah, because so, maybe I could think it's part of my dream or something. So we're gonna call that a wisdom check. Okay. What's sure. your wisdom? What's your wisdom like? Plus zero. Plus zero. <laughs> She has a zero modifier to her wisdom. Okay, you need to roll above a 12. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) 
<laughs> you hear the you hear the call. It's just a dream. And, and I enjoy my riches. And you enjoy so. your wealth and prosperity. <laughs> uh, it's up. I have to worry yeah. about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well. So the two of you are carried out. Um, if you want to, you can continue continue to communicate via your um, text messaging system. <laughs> uh, can you do it again? She, he can do it a million. I can. Um, yeah. So you can. Give, it's like an action, right? Yeah. So it'd be like yeah, every exactly. six seconds. So you can't just like. Da, 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 da. Yeah. So right. Every, you know. So in the meantime, so many other he's I being carried do, out, or you're both being carried out. You feel yourself be carried down some stairs around um, the backside of the tavern, or what you have to assume is the backside of the tavern, yeah. and you are simply draped across the back of a horse. So you're like, okay, if this is the That's if this is the horse, can do, then you're just <laughs> like you're draped, you're both draped across the back of the same horse. You can feel each other struggling. Um, your oh, so he's right beside me? Your bunk mate's on the back of this horse right now. Oh my gosh. And, what do we do? Um, what do we do? I keep, I keep passing message like, to him. Yeah. Um, you hear, We're in a bag? You're not in, in a bag. You've got a fabric like, wrapped around oh, your head somehow. Yeah. And it's, no and one, it's secured. It's tied. Gotcha. No one like... Our hands are free? No one sees this um, and is like questioning it? Once they... No. No one has... Well, they went no out the back door. They're like... Hey. Also, it um, could be once night. you're on the horse, then they, um, they bind your legs and they bind your... Feet and then they um, bind your legs and uh, like your ankles and your um, wrists together underneath the horse. Does that make sense? So you're like ta- you're bound to the horse. Right? <gasps> oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So um, you hear um, you can hear uh, like low whispering and like um, sort of alarmed conversation, but like subdued alarm. Okay. And uh, <coughs> within, within minutes, you guys are, um, you're not even galloping, you're just sort of like trotting down the street. Um, and you can hear, you can hear at least two other horses. Okay, um, do we hear anything of what they're saying? You can't make out any words, you just hear that someone is speaking, and they're speaking. Mm. They're speaking very quietly. Oh my gosh. Interesting. What should we do? Can I, I, can, I can burn the, whatever we're tied rope. Burn me too. <laughs> <laughs> Burn my hands off. I That's think right. You think yeah, I'm fine. He has got his, yeah. Oh, <laughs> quick relevant question before we get okay. too far. Yeah. Um, before you went to bed, you wrote um, the flame symbols on three sheets of paper, two of which were ignited into flames, and the third of which is where currently. Oh, I probably just would have had it with the rest of my papers. Okay, write that down somewhere. Okay. This One. is important because if you ever misplace that paper. Yeah. Oh, true. Hmm. Someone could get that, right? Okay, one flame paper with my parchment s- stuff. Maybe well, just let it burst flame. into flame, and then right. no right. one will Anti-flame know. Anti flame paper. Anti flame. It's true. So, like, can we just call it F minus? The, that's the pretty old cool. F minus. And then, like, F is the fire. Mi- minus is the um, not fire. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, I wanna ignite my torch. <coughs> Because I can, I can use my prestidigitation and ignite a torch. To be clear, a small fire. they did not kidnap you with your things. Oh, really? Well, yeah, they didn't pack your bags for you. Oh, so our <laughs> stuff's all just sitting there? Yeah, like your oh, Your piece of paper? And, uh, like all that. Yeah, it's all in the... Yeah. What do we have on us right now? What did you What we were sleeping with? Yeah. Mm. You're a naked sleeper. Everything. You're buck naked except for the head wrap. <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. I, I really? Be... I thought you'd love that. No, I don't like that. I'm mad you about that. It's I roll. Oh my gosh. <laughs> don't don't, don't oh, you sleep okay. with everything? Like, on? Yeah, I actually sleep. I sleep with my backpack on. <laughs> <laughs> I like what it does for my lumbar. Support. <laughs> Dang it. That's lumbar. rough. That's super rough. Yeah, it is. Okay, what are you guys going to do? I'm just, I'm just trying to think if I can cast anything. Because yeah. I wouldn't have my spell book with me. Oh. And you need tell to me have how your spell book. Tell me how your stuff works. Yeah, you have to have your book? I have to have my spell book, yeah. And actually, I think because I chose my quarterstaff as my implement, I actually think I can't cast without that. I, I don't know about the cantrips, if I can still use those, but I know my spells I wouldn't be able to cast. So sure. help me out here, because in 4th edition, you don't have... I don't think you have to have an implement. I think you're benefited by having an implement. Well, let's look it so up. So I would maybe book. let's check double that check out that before we. I, I just want to double check. I know I'm pretty sure that you can't cast without your spellbook. Like that is it's like protect your spellbook. See, that thing you're true. really smart to like try and burn because some, of the way uh, wizards stuff. work. Yeah, because like you're a wizard, you learn not a sorcerer, it and you like read it as you're yeah. casting it almost. Kind yeah. Of thing. So like this you, runic yeah. alphabet stuff is like right up your alley. Exactly. Because yeah. it's memorization and book learning. 
in this light as a <coughs> thing. Whereas, you know, okay. Lander over here is just like, I don't know, I just sort of feel it. <laughs> yeah. But he communes like, with Like, be me. the wave, you know? Wait, can you cast spells? Mm-hmm. Okay, sweet. Okay, let's see here. So it says right here, spellcasting ability. You can use an arcane focus as a spellcasting focus for your wizard spells. Spellbook. You have a spellbook containing six first level spells. Your choice this spellbook is the repository of the wizard spells you know, except your cantrips, which are fixed in your mind. Okay. Oh, nice. Yes. Oh, yeah. You do cantrips. Which is good, because um, that means you can, be, I can, you cast can cantrips, have been yeah. talking. Yeah. That's right. And then uh, it goes like this whole section is about spellbook. Nice. But I'm not going to read all that, because it nope. says here, focus, see chapter five, equipment for spellcasting focus. But I think that's just showing me, I think it's just showing me different types of implements that I can use. I don't think it says mm-hmm. anything else about it. Okay. So I think I, I think we can still use it. Yeah, we're still So I think I can still cast without it is what I'm saying. Yeah. Because it doesn't say you can't. It just says that you can so you use you can cast without your implement, focus. but not without your spell. Right. right. The conclusion we're gonna... Yeah, for spells, for sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. But cantrips are a okay. Cantrips are fun, yeah. Okay, very cool. So you're trotting through uh, the city streets of uh, Freyburn. And um, you take a number of corners um, enough that you're both completely disoriented um, and have no idea how to find your way back, um, at least in the dark. And eventually you stop. Um, there's some more low, quiet uh, murmuring and whispering. Uh, you're unloaded from the backs of the horses and you're brought, uh, you feel yourself go down another set of stairs um, into a, a building um, where you're sat in... Uh, in a chair and left in a dark room. Um, the head wraps are not removed. The uh, leg wraps are, but the hand wraps are not. So your wrists are still bound, but your okay. ankles are not. Um, and then you hear a uh, door clank shut and silence. We're together? Yes, you're together in the same room. Okay. You guys think about that for a second? Okay. And uh, actually, no, let's think about that a little bit because it's not morning yet. So. <laughs> okay. Well, because that's. A- yeah, that's when Penelope and Traffic are going to wake up this morning. <coughs> so, is there anything we want to try to do or do before? Okay, so who's down? in the room with us? Uh, well, as far as you know right now, it's just the two of you. So, our head wraps are off, right? You your said? head wraps are not off. Oh, they're not off. The oh. legs, just your foot. The, your legs are unbound, Feet. your hands or your wrists are, are bound, down. and you're still blindfolded. But we're just sitting on chairs. You're sitting on chairs in, in a corner. Okay. Um, in a, presumably in a basement. Can, 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 can I listen? To, like, if I hear like breathing at all in the room or anyone around? You hear one set of breathing. <laughs> one breathing okay. unit. Hey, Besides your Lander, own. is that you breathing? <laughs> <laughs> I'll message that to Probably. him. Probably. <laughs> okay, good, because I only hear one other person here, I think. Are you still talking in heads or out? Yeah, head, heads. All heads. All heads? Yeah. Ooh. Message. <laughs> That's kind of neato, actually. Yeah, so yeah, picture cool. like this, these two people just sitting there. If not I was guarding that room, <laughs> creepy, I hey. would be like freaked out because they're not talking to each other. Um, <laughs> we hit them too hard, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that we should uh, try and get our head things off so we can see? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to yell out to see if anyone wants to Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Good call. Yeah, I like the idea. Okay. <coughs> so, yeah, hello? You hear not even an echo because the room isn't big enough for that, really. Oh. So with my hands, I want to feel around the room. Like, okay. I can, yeah, I can get out. and walk around. Yeah, yeah okay. Oh, so, so they're get off of the horse? Okay. Yeah, they, got, well, they were taken off the horse and brought down into a cell. Oh, well, then immediately I'm going to take my head wrap off. Why would I be sitting there with it on? <laughs> I take it off. Okay. Is it dark? It is. You're in a cold stone room. The floor is made of uh, stone and covered in straw. The um, chairs that you're sitting on were simply wooden stools with, like, makeshift. They weren't made with backs, but they have backs on them. Okay. Um, sort of, like, someone haphazardly attempted carpentry. Okay. Um, and uh, there is uh, there are two small windows, um, both on the same side of the cellar, which is the long side. Um, so they're spaced, up, you know, evenly apart from each other. The top of those... Um, it's at the top of the top of the wall. Um, the windows are about uh, twelve inches tall by twenty-four inches wide, so okay. one foot by two feet. Um, they do have metal grating in them, hmm. like bars. Um, but uh, yeah, and it's dark outside, so there's not like light streaming or anything like that. So it's quite dark where you where you are. Okay. But there is um, 
just like some ambient light <coughs> from the moon coming in through the windows, and like uh, you see on the other side of the heavy metal door in front of you, there's light streaming in underneath the door. It's a metal door. It's a metal door. Like not barred. It's not barred. It's just a metal okay. door. No window in the door. Um, there's no window in the door now. Hmm. How big is the gap underneath the door? Um, it's about um, an inch. Okay, I want to get down and peek. Okay. Under the door. Yeah, so, okay, so you peek under the door, and uh, you can clearly see that um, the floor on the other side of the door is also made of stone, but you don't see straw covering the rest of it. Okay. Um, uh, as you peek, um, you can also see, you don't see the feet of the person that is in, uh, is just has to be there, but you do see a shadow sort of, like, casting in front of the, um, in front of the doorway from a torch that's in the hallway. Um, and because he's not totally <coughs> Then, like, <coughs> when he moves, the shadow moves, and that's how you know it's a person and not, gotcha. you know, uh, stationary suit of armor or something. Gotcha, gotcha. Right? Ooh. And that's what's up. Should we knock on the door see if he opens it for us? <laughs> I'm sure he will. We could. Talk to him. Sure. Yeah, yeah let's try it. Try to untie your hands. Mm, yeah, we could. I guess. I guess. Yeah, I guess if they just... Let's the loosen way. them so it looks like they're tied, but then, like, we can easily yeah. slip out if we have to. Mm-hmm. I like that. Let's try that. Okay. So, like, I can untie his hands with mine, mm-hmm. and then he can do mine. Okay? And then, like, we'll, we'll re-tie them, <laughs> but, like, loose enough to slip in and out of. Love it. Yeah, yeah okay. Love. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, yeah, and then do you want to do it? Yeah, okay. let's knock on the door. Okay. Okay, we'll knock a roof. Yep. Uh, nothing? Nothing? You don't hear anything? Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Pardon me, there seems to be a mistake. <laughs> I ask not... if anyone's out there. I yell through the door. Um, you, uh, hear from the hallway a low, gruff voice return. Quiet down in there. Keep quiet. Got some attention. Ooh. (laughs) And I think that's a perfect spot to stop this episode. (laughs) So, uh, thanks everybody for listening. Be sure to tune in for the next episode whenever that is, whenever it uploads. It's gonna be great. Adios. Bye. Bye. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of The World of Wraithmire. Make sure you hit the follow button if you're listening on Spotify or subscribe to our podcast on your favorite podcast listening app. To stay up to date with new releases, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Upstairs Alchemy. You can also find our Patreon page at patreon.com slash upstairs alchemy where you can become an alchemist and unlock rewards such as early access to all future episodes. Hope to see you there. <laughs>